Well folks, as you can see, the 1961 GMC 5000 finally made it up from North Carolina. Took a little while longer because we ran into some issues with the weight. Um, I got wrong in the length of it, but not too big of a deal. The guy was real nice, the shipper I used. Definitely did a great job moving it up. So I figured I'd give you guys an overview of it before I start in on it. Chrome grill is in pretty fair shape. It's got a little bit of rust on the top, but it's nothing that's overly pitted, so it can always get re-chromed. Bumper's not in too bad a shape, too. Nice, heavy, quarter-inch thick bumper. Wood's in good shape. And this has got the V6 351 engine. I thought it was a 305. The tag inside the cab says 351, but I'm going to have to find the numbers on it and run them anyways, just to be sure. I did drive around the block when I took it off the trailer, so it is pretty cool. Definitely has Armstrong steering, no power steering with it or anything. Runs a little bit rough, you got to run up with a choke out, so I'm going to have to go through the points, plugs, and take care of the carburetor and stuff before it gets driven any farther than this. And had a spot for an extra battery, so you could have two batteries in it. A lot of the wiring has been pulled out of it, along with some other miscellaneous things here and there. It's going to need radiator hoses, upper and lower. I looked at them, they're looking a little crusty, so those are going to have to get done at some point. All the sheet metal on this being a southern truck is in very good shape. There's very little rot and rust. Even the vent, bu vent buckets are, those are still solid, along with the inner fenders and everything else. So I'm very happy with it. This is pretty much the only rod I found so far was on the passenger side rocker, which isn't that big of a deal for what it is. I'm going to have to find door guts for the passenger side door along with a window and the panels because those aren't on either door. I do have the door handles. It's got a five-speed transmission with the high and low or two-speed rear axle. Here's all your shift pattern information and whatnot. Speedometer doesn't work. I'm going to have to get that working along with the fuel gauge. I'm not sure about the temp because I haven't ran it that long. It's only got 19,000 miles on it, so it's a nice low mile truck. It's just been sitting for years and years. Parking brake isn't hooked up. That's going to have to get put back in at some point or another. I'm going to have to clean the cab out. The floor is solid. It's just got a lot of crap on it and the mat's all torn up, so I might just rip the rest of the mat out so the mice don't have a place to nest for the winter. Glove box had some miscellaneous junk in it. Had some old inspection reports, which are covered in gear oil, so I'm gonna have to try to dry them out. So that's kind of neat, just memorabilia stuff. The roof's gonna have to have some holes filled from the light bar that was on top, which isn't too big of a deal. The only real issue is where they mounted the beacon on the roof. So I'm either gonna have to pull the roof at some point or I'll just grind those off and weld them shut which shouldn't be too big of a deal. Underside is in good shape. Nice and solid. I'm going to have to clean some mice out of the transmission. As you can see, they already started making a nest in there, so I'll have to pull the cover off and see what I can blow out. You get your brake booster here underneath the driver's side, which I thought was kind of a unique spot for it floor is all solid and everything nothing's rotted out it's got torsion bar front suspension which I thought was pretty cool for a truck of this size and this age so that's pretty unique tires on the back are in fair shape they got some nice treads on them but they are dry rotted and you can see that somebody added to the back of the frame here with some C channel at one point so I'm gonna have to cut that off and then some point down the road I like to find a flatbed for it, maybe even make a flatbed dump, which would be cool. And I do have a place to park it for the winter. It's going a town over at some people's farm that we know, so I'll definitely be getting a driving video of it for sure, without a doubt. But there's just some stuff i got to go through beforehand. Like I said, engine-related stuff, get it running good, uh, take care of the mice nest and the transmission, maybe take care of some of the wiring that's been botched in it. and. Definitely get some windows in that passenger door before it sits for too long. But anyways, folks, there you have it. That's just an update video on the 61 GMC. And if you're looking for after this, I'm going to be doing a repair video. and we be going through it and getting her back up to par again.